Ladies and gentlemen, this is new talent. It's the first time here on Comedy Store we are hosting this guy. This guy is very, very, very funny. This guy is very, very funny. Ladies and gentlemen, from Comedy Store Uganda, put your hands together for MC Cash Owakabi from Gulu. What's the name of that guy just left, who left the stage now? Now, in our language, the name Caldera means a running water. Give it up for him one more time. He's a nice guy. Anyway, guys, nice to have you. My good names are MC Cash Owakabi. When I left Gulu, um, my mom told me I have a relative in Kampala. And she said, the relative, she's not giving me the name, but she said, when you reach Kampala, just remove your cap and you're going to see that person behind you. That is when I realized that Alex Mwanji is my half-brother. Honor your guy. Give it up for Alex Mwanji! I think now since he's here, I can take off the cap. Well, Kampala, how, has, how have you guys been? I see a lot of beautiful girls in Kampala. Chey, this is like a miracle. First of all, we are used to seeing black beauties. When I was coming here, I stopped at the runabout around Mulago. There was a beautiful brown girl that moved. Actually became, when she passed, I was watching her like this. Then I saw another one also coming from the, fine, very beautiful, like this lady you call Zari. She came. The traffic police came and told me, said, you man, you're about to go inside if you continue looking at people like that. Guys, um, I bring you greetings from home. In our family, we are six people. I am the last born. Yeah, I'm the last born, and uh, I think there has been a lot of controversy or so at home. I am the shortest guy at home, and my dad always wonders, like, where did this one get his height? <laughs> okay, now, okay, let me give you guys a full picture. My dad, look at me carefully and critically. My dad is three times taller than me. <laughs> so I asked a boy, I said, I'm going to perform at Comedy Store at Levels. I walked from uh, Mulago Runabout up to around Uganda Museum. I didn't know where Levels was. Now, border borders in Kampala, you'll never see heaven. <laughs> you'll never see heaven. This border guy asked him, I said, Sebo, where is Levels? He said, Levels. <laughs> the guy said, okay, what we do? You sit, I take you, but it is only Mutual. I said, what is Mutual? He said, 10,000. I said, so we go. The guy took me to Acacia Mall. Drove back very fast up to Mulago. <laughs> and then he came exactly at the Uganda Museum and said, here is Levels. I said, hey, this is where you picked me. He's like, Mwana, Wano Kampala. <laughs> I took my time before coming here. I went to a place called uh, Kabbalah Gala. Uh, there is a place there they showed me called Capitol Pub. A friend of mine told me to meet him there. I didn't know what happens there, you guys. What happens at <laughs> Capitol Pub? Here is what happened. I moved. As I was moving, the ladies there just saw my head. And then the short one started running. Customer, 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 customer. As soon as I walked out fully, they all ran back like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then I saw a very fat one coming like, hey, ono gwenja gala. <laughs> yeah, singer. So I asked my guy, I said, hey, hey, why is that fat woman coming? She's saying you are the one. I'm like, the one how? That those ones give people short and long. I said, I'm already long. Which short does he want? That those ones do things that, uh, you know. Then I asked him, I said, now, what, what, what is going to happen next? He's like, she's coming for you. Are you ready? Do you have what it takes to satisfy her? Guys, I sat back. I looked at the size of the woman. She was about 120 kilos. 
Then I looked at myself. As she was walking, she was like, Guy, I'm one. Like, how is down? That is what I heard. I'm like, ee, you don't know that God has created people in the opposite way. There is, you can be a Goliath and down you are Zakayo. <laughs> she was demoralized and left. Guys, um, kids have just gone back to school. If you're a parent here and you took your kid back to school, I give you a huge round of applause. Please clap for yourself. Okay, even if you took the school fees beer with the money, clap for yourself. I mean, the, the money meant for school fees with beer. Um, my son was supposed to join baby class when he was four years. Corona happened in 2020. Yeah, I'm single. It doesn't stop me from having a son. Matter of fact, we can try one. <laughs> But here's the thing, my son was supposed to join baby class and he was already four years and corona happened. School was closed. Now I took him back to school. But guess what happened? This boy, you know, in our family, like when you see me, you can now see the product also. When I took him to school, he was six what? Six years old. And the boy was almost my size. When we reached school, the teacher asked and said, are you sure you're joining baby class? He's like, what do you think? Like the boy was very tall. So the teachers were shocked. And he's matured. So they eventually allowed him to join school. In his first, you know when kids come back to school, they normally give them a holiday package and then uh, they, they do those tests. His first paper, he got canes. You know, when they give you a paper, there's that point where they say, do not write on this margin. Okay? I don't know if you guys remember. They give you a paper and then they say, do not write on this. The boy went and also wrote under that particular point and said, okay, sir, I will not write. <laughs> the next day, they came to school and said, Owakabi Junior, your father is a Muslim. Your mother is a Christian. According to religion, are you supposed to eat pork? The boy raised his hand and said, Sir, I'm supposed to eat only half kilo, not full. <laughs> because the father is a Muslim, the mom is a Christian, so you don't eat full kilo. You only eat what? <laughs> guys, it's not easy. When I was coming here, I don't know why. It's like you guys are not used to seeing tall people. I passed via Mulago. And uh, the ones who sell coffee in there, I think they must be relocated to another place. As I was moving, one person saw me. He kept on looking at me and looking at the coffins available. <laughs> he looked at me carefully. And then I saw him looking at a very long coffin. And then the guy said, ah, oh, but it's not his size. So I, when I heard he's not his size, I had to look at the guy. He said, eh, this guy should not die. He's going to consume a lot of material. I'll overcharge him. <laughs> Do you guys know that those ones can make you faint? The last thing before I leave the state, gentlemen and ladies. Um, Kampala people, I bow down for you. You guys have a heart, okay? You guys have a heart. I was looking at things happening in Kampala during elections. I thought we are Cholis were strong people. Not until when I saw the videos of guns being fired and people are still running on the street. Oh, those things you don't try in Guru anymore. You see, for us, we are, we are, we are very strong people via words. Fear in a Choli when it comes to words. They said, Bobby Wine is coming to town. We were the mobilizers. Hey, the guy is coming to town. Hey, the guy is coming. The chief mobilizer was also mobilizing people. Hey, he's coming tomorrow, tomorrow. The next day when Bobby was supposed to be in the town, they brought 12 members. 12 members. Soldiers were moving with RPG. Me, I told my guys, I said, we go, we go. We go, we go, 
we were going, not until when the, ma the mamba fired one bullet in the air. Little did I know even the mobilizer was mobilizing from his bedroom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. That was my time. It's been good having me. God bless you.